and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Today, we're going to be talking about towing in the mountains. When it comes to towing in mountains specifically, I hadn't driven that much in the mountains in just a car, much less trying to tow a, an RV. And when I went online, there was a little information here, a little there, but I really didn't find enough that I felt comfortable. And we had planned a trip, we had reservations at Red River, New Mexico. And so I just went to about five different people in my church that I knew had RVs and used them and told them, hey, I'm heading to Red River, New Mexico, taking the RV. What do I need to do? It was really good to talk to a lot of different people and get their perspective because hearing basically the same information from a variety of people helped make it stick. So. Uh, I am not an expert, and those of you who have towed in mountains more than me, please leave some comments and help those of us who don't have that experience to learn from yours as well. But first and foremost, use your tow haul package. This is crucial. It's going to help take. Uh, it's going to help with uh, powering up the the mountains, and also it will help with keeping you uh, slowing you down as you come back. Drive your drive. Don't worry about who's behind you, etc. When uh, your goal is to arrive at your destination safely. And if people are behind you, as soon as you get to pull, pull out, pull over, let them go by, and then continue driving your drive. You don't want to build up speed because ultimately you're going to have to slow that back down. Second of all, downshift. You want to take some of that, uh, let the engine do the work for you. Now, one person told me, and I'm thankful they did, because it wasn't until after I towed the first time in the mountains. I towed to Red River, and then I towed in uh, northern Alabama, Georgia. And we'll be towing in the mountains again this summer. But one person told me, when you're in tow, when you had the tow haul going, that your engine's going to rev, and that's okay. It means it's doing what it's supposed to. Um, and I didn't realize that the first time that I towed in the mountains, but it's what happened and we got there and didn't overheat the truck, didn't overheat the brake, so whatever I had done had been successful. And then, uh, so first of all, make sure you're in tow haul and don't worry about the people around you. Second of all, downshift. And then the third piece of advice that I was given was to alternate between the foot brake in the truck and the trailer brakes. You can actually use the trailer brakes to help keep your speed down and that way you're not going to overheat your um, the brakes on your on your tow vehicle. And then finally they said if the truck your, your truck starts to overheat or you smell the brakes the next pull out just pull over and wait for it to cool off and then start going again. So those pieces of advice, like I said, I've, I've towed the mountains a couple of times and have been successful, but those of you who have more experience, please leave comments so that we can learn from your experience. And thanks for watching Two Tired Teachers.